Hello world, this is Cause the Internet Podcast. I'm your host, Trey. And I'm your Jose. Let's get into it. Question for you. Now, this is, goes for ladies and gentlemen, but I'm going to read what the post says. Ladies, if your homegirl crushing on a dude, but he's not feeling her like that, and he's trying to holler at you, is he off limits? Then it also says, him and your homegirl went on a date, but they didn't smash, though. So, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Okay, my thoughts are, um, all right, so it's a long explanation. So I don't think the person's off limits, but you have to speak to your friend and clarify and clear it like, yo, da da da, he's interested in it, or because this is the guy girl thing. So hmm. I'm just saying, whether it's the guy girl, he's interested, but I'll just speak from my personal, my point of view. Yeah. So, I'd be like, yo, she's interested in me. I know you digging her, but like, do you mind? Do you care? And realistically, if he says he cares, he minds, you got to let it slide because you don't care that much. You just met the person most likely as well. So it, it's no big loss. You just got to take that out and be like, all right, if he really cares about her, I'm not willing to jeopardize a friendship over it. So you just let that slide. But if uh yeah that, that's kind of how i see it so uh, it's not off limits but there's stipulations you have to check with them first before you go forward if not it's foul how you feel about it okay hold on so i have a question for you okay yeah so she's not feeling your homeboy but yeah. she tells you she's feeling you yeah you talk to your homeboy yeah you like okay pretend it i can't say pretend but like you know like some people you look at and you're like, yo, you're just uh, kind of creepy anyways. Like, so suppose it's one of those guys, okay? Like, yeah. he's your boy, he's your boy, but you're just like, she don't want you. Like, yeah. really? Mm. You can't be mad. And now she's like, she's feeling you. You go to him and you say, yo, basically this is what happened. And he says, nah, like, I think she's the one for me. You can't have her. I understand that you're just meeting her and mm. he went on one date with her and he's smitten. Yeah. But do you really say, you know, I'm really not going to talk to her just because he said no? Like, yeah, man, you got to take that out. Like the thing is, I get what you're saying, but the way you described it, that's your boy, boy. It's not like it's just a cool cat or, you know, you guys are just like, oh, see each other in passing. No, this is your man. And regardless of the fact, if he might, if he's feeling that way about her and he's like, it'll be awkward being around her. Like, I'm not going to put him in that position. Um, mm. I would just give him that much respect. Be like, you know what? She's off limits. It's like I said, it's no big deal for, it wouldn't be a big deal for me because it's not like we yeah, were together. Yeah. It's not like, so I'd be like, it is what it is. I would still speak to the, cause that's my boy. So I'd be like, yo, you're doing too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'd, I'd crack on him. I'd be like, bro, you only want, she doesn't want you. She clearly wants me, but I wouldn't cross that line. Cause again, it's a no fly zone. He already said, nah, uh, hmm. how do you feel about it? So now I only said what I said, just. Yeah. Another for, side of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I agree with it because I mean, at the end of the day, well, I mean, I personally agree with it because if that's my guy guy, like if it's just yeah. a dude that I know, and exactly. it was like, okay, like, I mean, I wouldn't even have to ask. So I don't even know why I'm exactly. bringing that up. But if it's my boy, boy, like we grew up together, that's that's yeah. my guy, my ace. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to disrespect him like that. If she's like, well, I'm not feeling them like, oh, dang, that's harsh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wouldn't even try to even pursue it. I just feel like, you know what? It is what it is. Like, oh, that's cool. I'm flattered, but nah, it's cool. Like, wait. So you're saying you wouldn't entertain it even if your boy said it was cool? Like, just because you knew that he like went on a date and liked her? Yeah, I, I wouldn't even bother with it. I just like, man, because I mean, okay, you already know me and T. Like, yeah. Now, I mean, obviously, the cousins out there don't all know, but I'm a mm -hmm. twin. So what we used to do is if we both liked the girl, I know it's going to sound messed up, but we took turns. So, not not we switched on her so she didn't know. <laughs> what happened was... You did the house party joint. Switch! <laughs> <laughs> so, if, say, we both liked the girl, mm. 
then T would like say, okay, you know what? I really do like her and this is why. I'm like, okay, cool. So he pursues her. I fall back. I'm like, all right, you do you. Mountain mm-hmm. Dew. And then the next time, if we both like a girl, then it's like, okay, well, I get to go for her because last time you were able to. So I was like, okay, yeah. cool. So that's what would happen. But I mean, and I mean, after that, it's just one of those things where it's like, at this point, even if he, well, I mean, you know what? It's it's a weird thing. I just be like, meh. But yeah. Oh, and then again, you guys figured out a uh, weird twin system, exactly. System, but that worked for y'all. That worked for you guys. Exactly. But um, realistically, I'm as far as friendship. See, and as well, you guys legit grew up in the same household, yeah. so you you know what I mean. You guys knew what was going on and didn't want to cross that line. Now mm. it gets a little trickier when it comes to friends. Yeah, and feeling. yeah. like so, and this is the yeah. thing. There are some friends out there who wouldn't ask you. They would do what they do, and exactly. it is what it is. Exactly. Like, so that's why I get what you're saying. Some yeah. dudes will do it, but I mean, me for the most part, yeah. I say for the most part, me. Period. I would exactly. not. Exactly. Same thing. Over same thing. It, it's not worth it, um, especially. And it's one thing if you don't know. That's the thing. Yeah. Because, But if you actually know, you're foul for doing it. Like, if the person's really digging the person. Okay. So, I mean, this has nothing to do with anything. But, I mean, I may have said this before, but, like, obviously, I know it's wrong. What I'm going to say I know is wrong. But, like, it's not really omitting the truth, but, okay. Yeah. If you go to talk to somebody, you think that they may have talked to one of your homeboys, but you don't ask. Mm -hmm. She doesn't tell you, and you still do what you do. Okay. And then all of a sudden, now she tells you, hey, like after everything's been said and done, she tells you she was with your homeboy. Is that wrong? Because, I mean, technically, you didn't know. You may have had a feeling you didn't know. But you didn't ask because you know if you did ask, there was a possibility that she would have said yes. See, that's not the messed up part. I don't think that's the messed up part. Are you keeping it a secret from your boy? Uh, does he I, does he come in this equation at all? Is it you just don't bring it up to her? Or is it that you're keeping it from him? Because if you're not keeping it from him, then it's what it is. If you're actually doing something knowingly, keeping see, okay, it not, hold on, not hold on, bringing no, it up no, to no. him, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. It would be messed up because I mean, you'd be keeping it from him because I mean, if he messed with this girl and you, yeah, but but let me just though that was advocate. Sometimes people don't kiss and tell, right? So mm. you could have been like, yo, I'm pretty sure they whatever, but you'd be like, yo, I'm sorry, uh, much called, it's really cool, and then you'd be like, yeah, yeah, she's cool, she's cool. And both of you guys just don't cross yeah. that conversation. I don't think you're wrong necessarily. Yeah, yeah, but no. if you're trying to hide it, that's what if you don't ask her and she doesn't bring it up, it is what it is. But if you knowingly, but you're not bringing it up because you're afraid he'll say no yeah. or you're afraid she's going to be like, oh, you guys are friends and not give mm. you time, then you're wrong. That's how I see. Yeah. No, but, yeah. I get it. I get it. No, and so. Go ahead. I mean, that was a question that I had for you. Mm. And then, I mean, I guess it was perfect timing because the whole, um, I mean, I don't watch reality TV. (laughs) So, I mean, I can't really speak on it, speak on it, but the Real Housewives of Atlanta, where um, Portia is engaged to, I guess the lady's name is Fallon's ex-husband or estranged husband. And apparently her ex-husband and her new fiance, our business partners. Yeah, either were or are. All this stuff. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's a lot. But I was like, is it wrong for her to, like, because I guess the husbands were friends. They yeah. met each other through the husbands. Yeah. Now they both broke up with whoever and yeah. they found love with each other or the, the other person's significant other. Yeah. Are they wrong for that, or is it just, you know what, they're grown, they can do whatever they do? All right, so again, this is a two-part answer. 
if you find love, you find love. It can never be wrong, right? Like if you're just mm. genuinely in love with somebody. So that's just the realness to it, right? But mm. yes, I would see it as being wrong. If let's say I was that Fallon or her or uh, Portia's ex-husband, I would think that there was something going on while we were together. There's nothing no one could tell me that there wasn't no sweet nothings or whether you guys crossed the line or not, there was still, I would assume something mm. that was going on under, underneath my eyes. So um, no, I, I, I think it would be wrong. I, I would never personally put myself in a position like that because it's just foul. Like find yeah. someone outside of the circle. Um, that, that's kind of my thing on that I see with people. It's messy. It's real messy. Um, that people just keep circulating. Basically, all of Hollywood, yeah. all of the music and that's industry. That's exactly what I was like, going to say. Like, they yeah. just share the same person and they're okay. Like, I mean, exactly. you know what? I guess they just feel like they have to be okay with it because, I mean, the world is small. The industry is even smaller. So it's just... Yeah. No, no, you're gonna come in contact with somebody unless you yeah. find somebody outside of the industry yeah but then at that point you find somebody outside of the industry like you bring them in and then they become famous because they're your girl and exactly now they're, and she and just becomes one so, so yeah. yeah or vice versa he becomes so yeah. i'm like yeah i get it no exactly like, i i think it's wrong like yeah i mean the heart wants what the heart wants but i mean and at the same them. time it's like like you said i'd be like so when we were together this whole time and say we went out for lunch, dinner exactly. as a couple with whatever, double dated. Yeah. Were you guys playing footsie on the table? Like exactly. were you guys like, oh, we both had to use the bathroom and Exactly. Like, I know. And that, I mean, that's exactly it. Right? Out of all the people in the world, why that person? Like and I understand, like, I mean, hey, you can build a relationship, a friendship or whatever it is yeah. with somebody, but I I just I would stay. I would have stayed away from it, but I mean, hey, like I said, the heart wants what the heart yeah. wants. People are different. Not everybody was raised like us, so not exactly. everybody has those morals or scruples to be like, yeah, no, thank you. Exactly. But, nah, it is nah. what it is. but it's extremely messy, man. Um, and yeah. it's disrespectful. Like, I, I don't know. That's the way I think of things. I think that I would never like, go for somebody that's a friend of my ex mm. or something. I just find it too messy, too disrespectful. And I wouldn't want that to be done to me. So it's just, yeah. I don't know. If they gave their blessing, like, you know what? Yeah, it's cool. Go for it. Like, I mean, we're done. Yeah. Hey, if you guys found love in each other, cool. That's yeah. one thing. But I mean, you would have to get to that point to be like, hey, like, we've been seeing each other and we really like each other. Like, Yeah. Like, that's when it's like, okay, so hold on. What do you mean you didn't see? Like, so after we broke up, like, it has to be one of those things where it's like, okay, you guys broke up, you guys are done. Be like, yo, do you mind if I talk to him, like, or her? I was mm -hmm. speaking from their point of view, but <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Like, do you right. mind if I, like, mm -hmm. talk to this person? And at that point, it's like, okay, sure. But then it's like, well, that's my ex, like, wife. Like, why do you want to speak to my ex-wife out of all the people in the world? So that's when it's still sticky and it's weird. Yeah. But, hey, it is what it is, man. I get you. I get you, man. I fully agree. The wants what the heart wants. So there's a story that was brought up. It might be old news or it might be new news, but I think it's old news that's just being resurfaced. There was a young lady who went to a club with a couple of her friends. So she's of darker tone, skin tone. Her two of her friends were lighter skin and one friend was white. And this famous R&B singer who we find out is Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. He walks up and he looks at her fr and her friends and he's like, okay, y'all can come in, but no darkies allowed. And he started walking. So they all started walking with him. He then turned around saw her and he was like, I said, no darkies allowed. And then security escorted her out. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a couple of things I wanted to say or ask you. Now, I already know what he did definitely messed up. But to the friends, did they continue to go into the club and enjoy themselves and leave the friend outside? Mm. Or did they leave with her? Because in the story of her retelling it, she never said they left with her. She said she was escorted out. They went inside the club. Now, my question is, 
One, what do you think about that story? And two, were the friends wrong for continuing to go into the club and party and leave the friend outside? Doc? Um, I have so much thoughts on this, um, to be honest. But now, I th- I'll start with the friends. Friends, horror, they're not your friends. Those aren't friends. Friends don't do that. If they went into the club and left you after someone disrespects you like that, like real friends would have felt as though he said it to them and handled mm. it accordingly. So um, if they did go in the club, they're not real friends. So I hope she doesn't still think, think of them as that. Um, but now I'll get into the Chris Brown thing. Um, there's disappointment. I'm, I'm disappointed in that story. Um, if those were his actions, I don't care his age. It's just disgusting. Actions like that, like, yeah, disgusting. And a lot of self-hate, like, that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of that. It's like, like, what is wrong with you? Like, how has the world brainwashed you to be referring to a woman as a darkie and saying no darkies allowed and think that's okay? And people understanding and accepting it. Even if I was his security guard, I would probably drape him up for that type of disrespect. Um, no, you wouldn't. I definitely would. I'd lose my job. I would definitely lose my job. I would drape them up. I One thing I cannot understand <laughs> is disrespecting Black women. I cannot. And I understand what you're saying. I Trust me, I really do understand and I yeah. get it. The reason why I was like, no, you wouldn't. Okay, not you per se. I was yeah. just really talking about security guards in general. Yeah. Because they do put up with a lot of stuff. Like, no, I don't know if be. you remember, but like, there's a dude that I used to follow from Vine, mm. or I used to watch his Vines. Um, he is, handle was Big Daddy Kane. Obviously not the rapper Big Daddy yeah, Kane, exactly. but Big Daddy Kane. That He's, security guard dude? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Big dude. Yeah. So I used to watch him all the time, and then when I saw he was doing security for like, like artists and everything, I was like, yeah. oh, that's dope, whatever this and that. I remember seeing a video where he was with the Migos. He was doing security for them. And they were trying to fight him. Like, trying to hit him, fight him and everything. I was like, okay. He's supposed to be y'all security. Why are you guys trying to fight him and attack him? Now, it it looked like... A bunch of kids. (laughs) Yeah, like like an elephant fighting against, like... Like yeah. little monkeys. Yeah. Not to call anybody an elephant. Wow, monkey, this is getting real. The... Because it, no, the, I know the exactly what you're saying. Yes, yes. Like, yeah. Like, and he wasn't even hitting them away. It's just like he was just protecting himself yeah. and they're trying. And I was just like, so I was like, yeah. security guards will put up with stuff like that. So I mean, him saying whatever he said to her, they're like, yeah. well, I don't know her. I'm being paid to protect him. So even if it exactly. didn't bother me, they'd be like, you know what? I'm getting paid for this, so hey, just he said he doesn't want you here. Like, even if it's one of those things mm-hmm. where they probably escorted around, they, you know what? I'm sorry about what how he's acting, whatever yeah. this and that. But you know what? No, and that could be the case, and and I can't expect everyone to have that line exactly. that I have. So I get it, but I still can't condone it. Uh, even the security <laughs> guards have to have a little more respect for themselves. Like, I, I know it sounds messed up, but me knowing my background knowing the beautiful black women in my life i cannot look at another black woman and see them get disrespected in that manner especially from a black man and not check it so i again i get you and i don't know if there's his security was black they might not and they might not have any type of connection to it but if they were them them themselves have to have a little more self-respect um because again there there's no room for that type of hatred um or just i don't know just self-hate um and so again this could have this is just her side of a story Mm. and we still gotta so we have say allegedly and this is what she said so allegedly but if this is true um it's just disgusting behavior and i whether it's true or not it's just a full view on what 
again, black women deal with black people in general, because black men deal with the colorism as well by women and mm -hmm. women. But I'm just saying specifically on black women, especially black women of a darker skin tone, having yeah. to deal with a lot of disrespect and ignorance um, and self-hate. Um, so I don't have much to say, which I've said a lot, but um, just we have to do better, man. And we have to, like I've said before, protect our women and children because suckers like that aren't going to do it. And we have to check them when they disrespect our women. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, I get it. I agree. Like, mm -hmm. it really is disgusting. Like, like, I don't know. Like, and I know it's a conversation that we've had a million times, but it's like, I feel like us as a, a community, us as a people, like, we are so far behind everybody else. Like, I mean, I understand we didn't get the same breaks and the same, like, handouts that everybody else got. But at the same time, at least stick up for each other. Like, why are you saying, like, like why are you disrespecting, like, I don't know. It's just disgusting, disgusting behavior, bro. And that's exactly how you're at loss for words. That's how I feel about it. Cause it gets me so mad, but even more that I feel sad about the ignorance, mm -hmm. like the ignorance and self hate or whether he's been, if this is true again, if whether he's been so industry corrupted that you actually have this yeah. warped view of beauty. Um, and I don't know. It, it's just sad to see that happening, man. And I'm just hoping, I'm hoping that this is not, of course, it's been a trend in the past, but I'm just hoping that um, I've seen more recently, regardless of color, whether darker or lighter, women being appreciated as a whole and all tones. And yeah. I like that. I like seeing that movement happening. Um, and see, like, yeah. not to give him excuse or anything, yeah. That's why I'm saying I think this happened a couple of years back because she was saying she was like 26 at the time, whatever. Obviously, she was saying this because she's not 26 anymore. I don't know how old she is now. Yeah. But I was like, okay, cool. Like, I, once again, I'm not giving her any excuses. I mean, I don't know. It's just weird because I, I really do feel like I'm trying to give him an excuse right now. Yeah. So that's why I stopped speaking. Yeah. I was like, you know what? You yeah. said what you said, if you said it allegedly. Yeah. But... It, it's messed up. It really is. And then as for the friends, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Because I was saying they were young, and it's one of those things where they were young, they got a chance to hang out with a celebrity, so that's probably why where their mind was at. Like, okay, yeah. well, we'll just tell you all about it. We'll send you pictures, bye. Like, mm. it's one of those things that probably yeah. happened, but in hindsight, when you look back at it, it's like, no, nah, like, you already know how it was for us. We couldn't go to a club. Mm. Like, we go to a club and it's like, uh, your, your, your jeans are too baggy. Yeah. Your shirt is a little bit too big. You got to pull up your pants. No chains allowed. Uh, no runners. Like, they always had an excuse not to let us in. And it was always one of those things where it's like, okay, they're not going to let us in. So we all turn around. Yeah. Because we we know what it was like. We, we yeah. grew up together. We knew, like, yo, my boy can't get in. I ain't going in either. Exactly. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not to say they were upset that we couldn't go in because they didn't want us in there in the first place. Exactly. But with women or them, it's like they may have not have had that camaraderie. And, yeah, so that's where it was like, okay, well, we're just going to go. Like, he only yeah. said, you can't come. Nice. Exactly. Like, so, but, but, yeah. I that's mean, the thing. I'm sorry. But that's the thing. No. It's not about him saying that he can't come. Mm -hmm. It's about his choice of word. If he just said, yeah. I'm sorry, you can't. Hey, you mm -hmm. can you can hate on him all you want, but he's just not feeling you. But him saying no darkies allowed makes me want to punch him in his face right now. <laughs> that's how, just because it's ignorant and disrespectful. Like, and I want to give him that pass, too. I want to say he's you know, he might have been young. Again, we don't yeah. know. This is just allegations. But I want to say he was young and, you know, people grow and learn. But there's certain lines that is just disgusting and filthy. That's one of them. Calling a black woman a darkie to her face and making sure she heard. Like, it's that type of ignorance that really gets me to another level of, of anger, mm. personally. But, yeah. No, I get it. 